Well, good morning and welcome back. A classroom filled with color and creativity, helping seniors diagnosed with a devastating disease. In my latest, I have a story. Curtis Akers and myself show you how volunteers are bringing light to patients whose lives are growing dark. Chicken coop, come on. <laughs> Ever since saying their I do's in 1976. Come on, girls. Tom and Mariana Link have been side by side through highs and lows. Our journey so far has not been difficult, knowing that it can change. But during the last three years, the couple from Hanover County has been enduring a chapter of loss, little by little. I, I can see now that probably there were some changes going on that we weren't even aware of at the time. Mariana's world is dimming. And I'm glad we got that picture done when we did. After a diagnosis of dementia. But just down the road, one place is offering the husband and wife a brief escape from the insidious disease through courts, color, and camaraderie. We'll paint as much of the background as we want, and then we're going to add things on top. At the Cultural Arts Center in Glen Allen. Love it. Makes my heart happy. Trained volunteers team up with seniors living with the brain disorder. <gasps> Beautiful. It's called Opening Minds Through Art. I love how the colors blend there. An eight-week program that stimulates and empowers the artists. I like that you always know your colors that you like. Sally Johnson is Mariana's partner for the two-month art class that is failure-free. We have a great time uh, together, <laughs> don't we? We laugh a lot. We laugh a lot. In here, the challenges of the disease are washed away. We can put the brush in here. At least for a little while. Look at that. See how pretty that smears? On this day, the seniors immerse themselves in a project titled Floating Abstract. See how you're creating your own art. It is just an amazing program. It's all about relationship. It's all about fostering creativity. It's about fostering autonomy. Amy Holland says there is nothing abstract about dementia. It's a very long, slow process. And you're losing little pieces of someone that you love just a little bit at a time. But the program director at the center witnesses the benefits of OMA <laughs> week after week. This illness can take a lot away from a person, but they're still in there. Miss Holland knows the weight of a dementia diagnosis too well. She cared for her father before losing his battle in 2021. I think it's also fair to say that we have a, a lot of stigma in our culture around this and people shy away from it. You can choose whichever color you like. Um, I'll choose on mine some pink. This program actually serves two purposes. My dog takes care of that because uh, Mariana talks to Cooper all the time. <laughs> Next door to the art studio, caregivers like Tom find respite and rapport. For one thing, they're not alone. They're meeting people who are walking the same path that they are, and they're not alone. Just like we've watched Mariana relax, we've watched Tom relax. A grateful Tom admires the team's dedication to his wife and the other seniors. I think being able to share information mainly. There's been a lot of information shared, and I am probably sign up again because that's probably the best part about it. You're having a good time too, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> Volunteer Sally Johnson says the bond with Mariana strengthens with each brush stroke. Leave it the way it is. Leave it the way it is. Okay. That is, it is beautiful. We have enjoyed getting to know each other and I've gotten to know her husband, Tom. Helping her partner blossom along the journey touches Sally's soul. I am motivated to come here because to me, this is the best of humanity. As the 60 minute class draws to a close. Here it comes, I know what it is. <laughs> Supplies stored and artwork admired. You ready? This little light of mine. For the artists like Mariana Link, memories of their masterpieces and friends made this week may fade fast. But the inner joy just may linger long after the paint dries and the ending of that old familiar song.
The artists like Mariana will have their canvases displayed at the Cultural Arts Center in Glen Allen this spring. Opening Minds Through Art is part of the nonprofit Art for the Journey. It's an amazing program.